Hi, I'm Lady Camden, and I am playing the role of Candy Colada in um, Alex is a Queen. So far, we've been very productive. We have been flying through these scenes. We sort of went in reverse order, which was kind of fun. So I already know how it's going to end. Really? Yeah, spoilers. Alex dies. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, no, it's been really fun. I haven't worked with Tony in a while. Tony and I did um, a really fun little short film called Andy with an Eye, which we did in one take, which was crazy. Um, and so I know that Tony likes to just get things done, get things moving, keep the energy flowing. So it's been fun. I love Brave Maker. I had my coffee this morning in my Brave Maker mug, so I was like in the spirit, already feeling like a cheerleader for, for Brave Maker. It's fun. It feels like we're all just here to like make something really fun and magical happen. Um, it feels like a really good team. Good energy, good family vibes here. Yeah. The queens are laughing and we're sort of, you know, reading each other and, and it's all in good jest. We're having a good time, you know. Okay, so out of drag, my name is Jeremy. Uh, in drag, I am Jackie Lation. Um, for this event, I, I don't really have a name in the script. I'm just drag queen, so um, I'm whoever you want me to be. I am from San Jose, California, and I became a part of this uh, actually through a Facebook, or not Facebook, Instagram post. Um, one of my drag sisters was like, hey, this film company is looking for a drag queen to be an extra. It's been really, really fun. Um, everyone's so nice here, and I got to be on set with Lady Camden. Like, that's crazy to me. Everyone that's been working um, in this uh, shoot has been super nice, and patient about things. People are joking the whole time. Uh, everyone seems to be in good spirits. I haven't had any negative interactions with anybody yet today. I mean, we still have a couple hours of shooting, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I came on with Brave Maker from just knowing Tony. So the director, Tony Gaveston, and I, we go back like 20 years. When I saw him doing his first feature film, I was like, Tony, like, use me. Like, like, do, like, I can't really, like, help out a lot, but, like, use my art or just, like, use me in some way. So he just, like, had me on, and I've been kind of just working with him ever since. Uh, my name is Ramon Guzman. I am playing the role of Pablo today, and I first came across Brave Maker actually through an audition. I have done acting for about nine years, ten years, in the last ten years, uh, mostly in Southern California now. I'm new to the North, uh, Northern California, and I, I have to say this is probably one of, if not the funnest set I've been on um, in the last, you know, easily the last five or six years. So right off the bat, I got feel for his energy, his positivity. Um, I cheated a little bit and I looked up Tony, you know, and just saw some of the things that he'd done in the past. Just his desire to, to have inclusivity with everything he does. Um, it's, it's so important for actors, uh, particularly actors like myself, being minority, um, uh, Hispanic, that we have a voice. And, you know, there aren't a lot of Tonys around, at least there aren't enough of them. I'm Sky Caldwell, I am a production assistant today, and I'm assisting the production designer. I came to Brave Maker through kind of a mutual friend. I was applying for a job at Laurel Street Arts, which is a arts organization in San Carlos. And the owner of that business knew, knew Tony, and um, she told me about Brave Maker. I didn't end up getting that job, but I'm here, so honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Tony's, uh, you know, always giving me new opportunities. Um, and like I said, each time I'm on set, I learn something new. And just like the network that Brave Maker has, I'm always running into like new people, making new connections. It's not just like um, trying to get on set to, to make a quick buck. It's this organization is constantly promoting art, live art, performance art, and through that you're able to just meet new people, have great experiences, and also like hone your skill and craft. My name is Tony Gapiston. I'm the founder and director of Braid Maker, a nonprofit film organization in Redwood City. I started it in 2018 because I wanted to make films, but I also wanted to make films that I knew could impact community and create representation opportunities for other storytellers that I knew I wanted to partner with. And so it met two needs, an opportunity for me to make movies and an opportunity for me to help others. 
I felt like I was ignorant to a lot of racial inequity and LGBT exclusion. I'm all of those things that are problematic in the film industry. And I thought, oh my gosh, I need to make a difference. I want to open doors. I want to maybe even sacrifice some of my stories that I want to tell so that I could help not just tell these stories, but learn from the stories too. We're really, really intentional about finding films, finding stories that create conversations around our, our world's most meaningful topics, whether it's LGBT allyship or it's mental health and suicide awareness. These films that we're doing, you know, my film, Last Chance Charlene, is all about grief. And these are stories that I want to tell, that I want to make to help other people have conversations that aren't always easy to have. We were in the green room, dressing room, for most of the day filming the, the whole page, the whole script is eight pages. There was a moment, because I watched everything, everywhere, all at once last night, and I was so inspired. I was texting Jerome, our DP, saying, how do you think they, they filmed this? Was, was this in post? Was this part in, uh, with using a weird lens or a mirror? How'd they do this? So I changed something in my shot list when I got here to do something I had not planned on. And that was so fun to be able to see that come to life and bring something in the script that I had not intended because I was inspired by another film. It felt so good to do that. I was so happy with the final result. Rafe's stories change the world. And you are the story.